Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What kind of restaurant is this? You usually know what to expect at a fast food restaurant. However, some people have been more than shocked after receiving their orders. So hold on tight for the top 15 scariest things found in fast food. Don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it. A syringe. And for every syringe I find, I get a dollar. Even in the most appropriate setting, most likely a doctor's office or a hospital, a syringe is a scary thing to see. However, in 2017, when a woman in Kentucky visited the local McDonald's with her child and father, she was shocked to find a syringe inside one of the hamburgers that was purchased. At first, she mistook the syringe for a bottle cap, but as she looked at it further, she realized not only was it a broken syringe, but it still had a partial needle sticking out of it. What? what? Luckily, after being inspected by a professional, there was no sign of contamination from the syringe and the family wasn't harmed. The most worrying part about this story is that the syringe was found in her young daughter's burger and could have easily been swallowed if it had gone unnoticed. A cockroach. Cockroach, cockroach, cockroach. <laughs> Could you imagine finding a cockroach in your food at a restaurant that you have eaten at dozens of times before? Well, one man experienced this exact thing. A man in the U.S. had ordered hash browns from McDonald's when he discovered there was a cockroach in it. It isn't clear if the cockroach was alive or dead, but it didn't really seem to matter to him. He was happy with a coupon from McDonald's and had no interest in pursuing any legal action against them. Good for them. But we're not sure if we would feel the same. We don't know about you, but we don't think we can look at a hash brown the same way again. A dead mouse. I'm on a break, kid. And when I'm on a break, the mouse is dead. For many people, nothing is more disgusting than rodents. In your house, in your workplace, in a restaurant, and most definitely in your food. A fan favorite, Subway, went under the magnifying glass when a customer in Oregon claimed to have found a dead mouse in his sandwich. The mouse seemed to have been thrown into the sandwich alongside a handful of spinach. It was unclear as to how the mouse got in and if it came from the supplier of the spinach or if it crawled in from the restaurant itself. The worst part of this incident was that because the mouse was near the bottom of the spinach receptacle, it means that every single person who ate at that subway and got spinach put onto their sandwich probably had a sandwich that was contaminated by a dead mouse. Ew! Not the most appetizing thing on the menu, that's for sure. A condom. Everlast condoms, my friend. Hey! What could be worse? This is scary because you have no idea where it's been or where it came from. A man in Vermont found an unwrapped condom in his Burger King sandwich back in 2007. At the time, the restaurant's management didn't seem to take the matter seriously, and the man claims that they laughed when he notified them about the discovery. Why? He did, however, take things into his own hands and filed a lawsuit against the chain. He settled out of court and the payout was never disclosed. It is unclear as to how the condom ended up in the burger and whether or not this had happened to other people before or after this incident. It makes you wonder if it was simply an accident or if it was done on purpose. A bullet. Hey! I found a bullet. Most people enjoy a trip to Costco. Not only do you have access to so many different items, in bulk, of course, but you're always in for a cheap and tasty meal when you need a break. From pizza to hot dogs, Costco offers many favorites at an affordable price. In the early 2000s, a woman named Olivia, who was living in California, was doing her typical shopping at Costco when she decided to take a quick break and grab some food. She decided to order a hot dog. And and only after one bite, she found herself biting the bullet. Literally, there was a bullet in her mouth. Ugh. She ended up swallowing the bullet and had it removed later in the hospital. Although Olivia was okay, it raised the question of how the bullet got into the hot dog and if Costco's cheap eats are really worth the cheap price after all. Maggots. Has anyone seen a worm? Because this funky chicken's hungry. This one's just gross. In Australia, a woman visited a McDonald's for a classic Big Mac, which is usually 
actually a pretty delicious choice and a fan favorite worldwide. But after her friend finished his burger and she began to eat hers, she noticed there was something moving in the patty. She opened the burger bun, and when she showed her friend what she saw, he was immediately sick to his stomach. In the burger were maggots crawling around, definitely alive. Ah! squirming, tiny, and plentiful. Shockingly, McDonald's claims that it was not possible for this to have been true since their food is cooked at high temperatures and it would be impossible for anything to survive or be alive once it was cooked. However, it seems silly to say that the maggots didn't come from the restaurant, as we're pretty sure she didn't bring them from her house. Nonetheless, the idea of biting into a burger with live or dead maggots is enough to turn anyone off from eating fast food again. Human skin. Turns out he was making his own masks from human skin. Arby's is known for their sandwiches, and even though the chain isn't as popular as McDonald's or Subway, it doesn't mean that crazy things don't happen there. A man named David was visiting an Arby's location in Ohio and ordered a chicken sandwich. After he started eating it, he noticed something on the chicken that looked not so appetizing, a piece of skin. Of course, David was immediately sick after seeing this, and it turns out there was a pretty clear trail behind this scary skin discovery. It turns out that the manager of the Arby's branch had cut his finger while shredding lettuce for the sandwiches and unfortunately forgot to throw away the lettuce that was shredded during the accident. You had one job. Just the one. David did try to sue, but it's not clear where the case landed. All we know is he probably wasn't eating at Arby's again. A chicken's head. Nearly headless. How can you be nearly headless? This one probably received the most media attention of any example on this list, mostly because the visual that came alongside the story is pretty hard to forget. In the UK, a woman named Gabrielle had ordered chicken from KFC, thinking she was in for a classic fried chicken experience. Instead, when she pulled out a hot wing from the box, there was something peculiar about it. It was, indeed, a chicken's head. It almost resembled a sleeping chicken. KFC was apologetic about the situation, but used the opportunity to remind people that they did indeed serve real chicken. Is, is this chicken? Hell no. And that this was simply a slip up in the process. They offered Gabrielle some complimentary meals and surprisingly, she accepted them. We guess seeing a chicken head instead of a wing isn't as scary for some people as we may have thought. A baked rat. Not a rat. No rat. A woman ordered a chicken sandwich from the popular chain Chick-fil-A, expecting a normal experience. However, when she bit into the sandwich, she realized that something quite gruesome was baked into the bun, a rat. It was definitely disgusting to find the rodent in her sandwich, and she was so traumatized by this event that she sued Chick-fil-A for over $50,000. There was no update on how the rat ended up being baked into the bun or where the legal case stands today. According to the press, the case is still open and Chick-fil-A has not had much to say about the incident. A Black Widow Spider Spider! <laughs> Although not technically a fast food restaurant, Whole Foods, the popular supermarket, has also had customers find scary things in their purchases. For example, in Boston, a man named Jorge purchased a bag of grapes from the store only to realize that there was a live Black Widow spider inside the bag. It's too much! It's too much! Black Widow spiders are quite commonly found in the U.S., but they don't tend to be found in our produce. Luckily, it's quite rare that a black widow spider bite would be fatal. However, if someone is bitten by this type of spider, a whole host of terrifying symptoms can arise, such as vomiting, muscle cramps, and a fever. Thankfully, Jorge didn't seem to have arachnophobia, but this scary find sounds like enough to scare anyone away. A bloody bandage. Hey, your, your bandage is wet. <laughs> 
there are so many great pizza toppings. Pepperoni, peppers, onions, tomatoes, mushrooms, and dozens more. There are also toppings that are controversial, like pineapple. But one pizza topping that we're pretty sure no one has ever requested in the history of mankind is Band-Aids. A man named Ken, who lives in New York, was shocked to find that his pizza from Pizza Hut had a hidden Band-Aid in it. And he only realized this as he bit right into it. Ugh. Yeah. Ew. Ugh, gross, right guys? Thankfully, he didn't swallow it, and he wasn't allergic to the material it was made out of, but the thought of a bloody Band-Aid in your mouth is enough to scare anyone. Although Pizza Hut denied the allegation, Ken requested they pay to test the blood to make sure he hadn't been exposed to anything dangerous, as different diseases can be spread through blood. Serrated knife. That's a knife. This one is one of the scariest things we could imagine finding in our food. In 2008, a man named John went to Subway to purchase a sandwich. As soon as he started eating it, he bit into something hard and took the sandwich apart to have a better look. He was more than shocked to find that baked into the fresh loaf of bread was an entire knife. What? The shock of finding something so dangerous in your sandwich is enough to give someone a minor heart attack. Thankfully, he had bitten into the end that had the handle and was not physically harmed by the incident. He sued Subway and was awarded 20K in the settlement. It's scary to think what would have happened if he had bitten into the other end of the sandwich. And again, it makes us wonder, how did it get there in the first place? A razor. A razor blade? Who the hell uses a razor blade as a bookmark? California, known for its warm weather, celebrity-filled cities, and beautiful coasts. What it's not known for? Dangerous fast food experiences. One customer of a Burger King restaurant in the state claimed to have found a razor blade in his cheeseburger. The blade itself was found wedged between the cheese and the burger, hidden at a first glance. The restaurant claimed that the blade came from one of the tools that they used in the cleaning process at the restaurant. I'm very disappointed in you. It's pretty scary to think about what could have happened if this customer had not noticed the blade and he swallowed it. It could have been a fatal experience that could have landed Burger King in much hotter water than it did. It begs the question, should we be looking under the cheese too? Human blood. I don't drink human blood. Now, let's talk about blood. Yep, human blood. A woman from Louisville had decided to get some time Taco Bell with her young daughter, who was only a toddler at the time. As she began to unpack the meal on the way home, she noticed there was blood on the outside of the food items wrappers, and blood inside the wrapping as well. What's in the f box? As scary as this discovery was, she mainly wanted to complain to the restaurant. Not necessarily scared, but a tiny bit spooked by the bloody experience. It turns out that an employee working at the restaurant that day had cut her finger and it was her blood on the wrapping. The woman did go to the press and her lawyer with the story, but it isn't clear where they landed on the legal side, and it didn't seem to stop anyone else from stopping by Taco Bell afterwards. A human tooth. False teeth. Fake blood. Lots of kids have experienced the feeling of biting into an apple or some other food, only to realize that their wiggly tooth has finally fallen out. But as an adult, what if you bit into your food and found a tooth in your mouth? And what if it wasn't yours? Hey, Phil, am I missing a tooth? This is exactly what happened to a woman named Sue in Texas in 2010. She purchased a Milky Way chocolate bar on New Year's Day, ready for a nice chocolate treat, only to realize that there was a human tooth inside of it. That definitely did not come from her mouth. Although she was shaken up, she was more concerned about not knowing whose mouth the tooth had come from. Safe to say, there weren't many chocolate bars consumed by Sue for at least the rest of the year. Tell me about it. Looking for more? Just tap or click another video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad. And hey, leave us a comment.